Well, Islamic State uh, has a beef with Russia because Russia helped Assad uh, uh, fight it and really yeah. defeat it in Syria. Uh, so it shows that, you know... So the, in, in mobster terminology, uh, this is the contract uh, uh, IS has... Uh, I suppose. It, I mean, they really do have a beef with, yeah. with uh, Russia over, over Syria, as I say. But beyond that, uh, Muslim fundamentalists have for many years had a beef with Russia because mm -hmm. of, uh, uh, you know, their demands and complaints and perceived oppressions in the various Islamic republics mm -hmm. within the Russian Federation, from Dagestan to Chechnya to whatever. There's many, many of them. Uh, it kind of shows that the enemy of my enemy is not necessarily my friend. Mm. Uh, I mean, yeah. the, the West currently is basically has enmity towards Russia, but it doesn't want terrorist attacks against Russian civilians. And you see the outpouring of support for uh, for Putin, uh, for Putin's government in in this context. It's kind of striking, but but I think it's genuine because uh, ISIS clearly is an enemy of humanity, uh, and they don't distinguish between democratic regimes. And horrible dictatorships like Russia's. Now, and, and yet Putin is not using the term Nazis uh, um, just like that. This is a term he frequently uses. Well, it's a term he throws in, around toward anyone he dislikes, uh, from yeah. the Ukrainians. Exactly. Uh, to, so to, to, this is what I'm alluding ISIS. to: that he's putting everyone in the same, you know, Nazi bundle, so to speak. So how it, does it, it connect it, to Ukraine? It, it could be. Look, Putin calls Zelensky the, the Jewish <laughs> president of Ukraine mm -hmm. a Nazi. So it, it, he. It was to be expected that he tried to link this to Ukraine. Everything about Putin's regime is such a swirl of skullduggeries that uh, a wise person uh, doesn't rush to believe what they say. I mean, if it had turned out that the terrorists were somehow Ukrainian, uh, there would have been a lot of suspicion about a false flag operation organized by the KGB to justify an attack on Ukraine. Uh, it turns out that's not the case. And yet they're somehow trying to link Ukraine to it anyway by claiming that they sought refuge there. And Ukraine denies it. I, I don't think it has a major impact on Ukraine war, frankly. It just uh, reminds us uh, that ISIS is still around and still carrying out terrorist attacks. And as I say, don't distinguish between the good and the evil. But, but it doesn't mean that we will see Moscow and Washington uh, collaborating against ISIS soon. You never know what's going to happen. All right. All right, right now the main story is Ukraine. That's